allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hi, Cortel. This is for the week of October 27, 2017. I'm Brooke Irwin. And I'm Athena Rodriguez. And today we're bringing you the latest school news, weather, sports, and clubs. Together, we bring you the latest and greatest. This is the Cute HG Spooktacular. Hey Rebs, it's Osa. Our forecast this week is going to be a bit cooler. Monday will be a high of 73 with sunny skies and a low of 45. Tuesday will be warm, warmer with a high of 74 and lows in the 40s. Wednesday will have a high of 73 and a low of 43. Thursday will have a high of 72 with bright sunny skies and a low of 40 once again. Friday will be a high of 72 with clear sunny skies and a low of 45. For our weekend, Saturday will be warm and sunny with a high of 72 with lows of 42. Finishing off our weekend, Sunday will be the warmest day of the week with a high of 76 and a low of 45. Thank you, Ilsa. We will be right back after a quick word from our sponsors. Has this ever happened to you? If so, would you want to change it? Then try Rose Deodorant. Rose deodorant gives you 24-hour protection and with its fluorescent scents, leaves you smelling like roses all day. Even with its pink powder, the deodorant goes on clean. So forget those embarrassing moments. Now you don't have to worry about sweat. You'll always be fresh. Download Soundwave on the App Store today, a new way to discover music. Welcome back to the Quartel Update. Now for some school announcements. Attention boys, are you interested in playing on the golf team? Tryouts are Wednesday, November 8th and Thursday, November 9th at the Rancho Vista Golf Course. There is a mandatory pre-tryout meeting after school on Friday, November 3rd in room 312. Good luck boys. Seniors, get your senior quote in before October 31st. Once you've found your perfect quote, take it to the yearbook room and you may see your quote in this year's yearbook. The ninth annual speech contest for QHHS will be held on Wednesday, November 8th after school. Two winners will be announced to move on to the district's competition and receive $50. All students are welcome to participate. Those interested in entering, please see Ms. Armstrong in room 605 to sign up. Toy and Food Drive has started here at Quartz Hill. Take all of your donations to V3 before school, first and second period, and snack. Thank you for donating. Multicultural Assembly is coming up. Sign-ups to tryout are going to be on the door of room 121. Tryouts will be held on November 9th after school in the small gym. Good luck. Hey Rebs, Tea Club is hosting a party tomorrow from 4 to 6 p.m. Please bring tea and fun festive gifts. 
Um, admission is $1 or $2 without an ASB card. Thank you. We had a game against Little Rock last week. One of our crew members, Sasha, talked to Davon Jones about the game. Let's take a look at some highlights. How did you feel about going into the game last night? Uh, we had a good week of practice, so we felt great going into the game. We had a good result. Sure. What were you expecting the score to be at the end of the game? We were expecting to put up a lot of numbers on them, about 50 to 0, but we ended up only winning 40 to 0. What do you think was the best part of the game or the best part? Of the, game? the best part of the game was seeing the kids that really don't get a lot of playing time on other Fridays, seeing them play in front of everybody else. How was this game compared to your previous games? Uh, this game was kind of slow. It wasn't like, I wouldn't say the competition wasn't as good as the other, others. It just wasn't as competitive. And how do you think that you can improve as a team? Uh, just keep working hard in the way that I'm working hard at practice. Thank you. Vex Robotics has started here at our school. One of our crew members, James, talked with club member Amber all about the club. Let's see what Amber had to say. Could you please state your name and position? I'm Amber Strickland. I am the president of the VEX Robotics Club. What is VEX? VEX is an opportunity for students to learn about engineering through hands-on building. What activities do members participate in? Members can travel to tournaments in California and can um, talk at outreach opportunities throughout um, our Antelope Valley area. Are the events related to this club? Yes. Um, outreach opportunities include showing off the robot, talking about what our club does, what the ethics are of VEX Robotics, and um, the tournaments are competing with the robot to try and win spots to the state championship or the world championship. Are there different positions? Yes. In the club there is president, vice president, secretary, treasurer, senator, <laughs> chief engineer, and outreach head. How does VEX benefit students that join? VEX provides an opportunity for students to learn what field they want to go into. Engineering is the field that we explore here, um, whether it's mathematics, science, it's most STEM fields. Um, really provides an opportunity to figure out if you want to be in engineering. Where and when do students meet? Students meet on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays from 3 o'clock to 5 o'clock after school in rooms 445. Do you have any last comments? If anyone would like to join the club, then please stop by at 445, talk to me, I will have information for you and you can join. My sister did robotics, she really liked it. That's very cool, I've always wondered how all that works. One of our Hall of Famers is Ronald Coleman. One of our crew members, Jeremy, got to ask Ronald Coleman's son some questions about his father. Let's take a look. Well, my dad was part of the first graduating class here at Fort Sill High School. He actually started back in the day when the first, first classes were actually held at the fairgrounds. And, uh, he uh, loved Fort Sill High School. Uh, he chose to come here. He, he was originally slated to go to Palm Valley, but to be on the road. He made his way through high school. He, uh, he was the uh, athlete of the year, a senior class. Football team, wrestler, track. He uh, scored either the first touchdown or the winning touchdown in our in our first ever football game win or victory. We still have that ball at home, actually. It was uh, it was a different time period. It was obviously the Vietnam War. So afterwards, and then uh, his two brothers and my uh, two of my uncles, they all enlisted. Married my mom, who also went here to Quincy High School. And they had me. I was born in 1969. So uh, <clears throat> when the time came, uh, there's a little, little rule they don't send brothers into combat. So my uncle chose to go to Vietnam. He didn't have to go. 
his master's degree while he's working in Mocking in North Carolina. That's what they gave him. They gave him his science and you know, science and aircraft. <clears throat> Then he, uh, he used that, moved up the ladder there, and became a cost analysis From there, he actually moved into teaching at ABC, so he became a teacher's application aircraft at ABC. Download Soundwave on the App Store today, a new way to discover music. Has this ever happened to you? If so, would you want to change it? Then try Rose Deodorant. Rose Deodorant gives you 24-hour protection and with its fluorescent scents, leaves you smelling like roses all day. Even with its pink powder, the deodorant goes on clean. So forget those embarrassing moments. Now you don't have to worry about sweat. You'll always be fresh. How's Hall's class going? Good. That's the A plus. I think I'm failing. I'm passing chemistry. Can you pass me my phone? Yeah. Oh, the parent. Hello? Here we go. Wait, you got the Welcome back to the Quartz Hill Update. Now for some news around town. Santa Clarita's um, community started doing artsy programs and they're planning on making Santa Clarita more artsy. Congratulations, Santa Clarita. Across the state, 10.4 million people, people ducked under tables and desks at work, school, and public facilities to practice what to do in case of an emergency. Great job to everyone that participated. We'll wrap up this show after a quick break. Oh boy, I can't wait for breakfast. I'm so excited. Here's your ready up, Tony. Enjoy. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. Ew, what is this? when you have rainbow flakes. Captain Cloud's rainbow flakes. They'll put a smile on your face. Download Soundwave on the App Store today, a new way to discover music. Has this ever happened to you? If so, would you want to change it? Then try Rose Deodorant. Rose Deodorant gives you 24-hour protection and with its fluorescent scents, leaves you smelling like roses all day. Even with its pink powder, the deodorant goes on clean. So forget those embarrassing moments. Now you don't have to worry about sweat. You'll always be fresh. Welcome, Welcome back. back. That puts a wrap on this show, but join us again next week for more school news and weather. Thank you all for tuning in. I'm Brooke Irwin. And I'm Athena Rodriguez. Have an amazing week. This has been the Cortel Update.
Thank you.